it's Thursday night. That means it's time for another member spotlight. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Uh, it's going fine, John. Thank you. How are you? Good. Yeah, doing good. I'm just trying to stay warm right now. And, I know, uh, me too. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun uh, talking with a longtime Las Vegan, and this is uh, a typical winter for him, so he knows all about it. Uh, Corbin Tanti. Hey, Corbin, how's it going? Going good. How you doing? Good. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I I always like having someone from Team Bad Decision on. It's like a requirement to just be a fun <laughs> person to train with to be in that team. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun hearing your story about getting into triathlon and some of your cycling background as well. And so uh, thank you for joining us. But I'm going to go ahead and before I get too far, I'm going to punt it over to Bob Gamble for the official introduction. All right, thank you, John. I appreciate that. And welcome, Corbin. I really appreciate you doing this. And um, uh, for the folks who are out there, when I, when I first uh, started learning a little bit about Corbin, I looked at his posts and he had me laughing so hard I was spitting my coffee out. So it's like that's one of the things we're gonna we're gonna talk about. Corbin's um, been with the club uh, since 2021. He joined the club, but he's been he did his first triathlon in 20, 2009, and we're we're gonna ask him about that. Um, but, uh, just to get started, Corbin, um, where do you, where do you get all your memes from and what, and, and, uh, your sense of humor? Um, well, I, um, sent, my sense of humor definitely has been, uh, been, uh, um, uh, well-crafted over the years. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, I like to go, uh, I, I go on Facebook and, um, and when I'm kind of scrolling down, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of memes that people uh, memes that people post. And um, I just it, it's just one of those things. I just if I look at it and it just it kind of if it makes me smile or it makes me laugh, then I know, you know, yeah. I know it's good. So <laughs> oh, it, it definitely did the trick with me. You, you had me cracking up the whole time. So so I, for folks who are listening out there, if you ever want to want to have a good laugh, go go to Corbin's memes there. He's got some triathlon memes out there and some just a little bit of everything. But um, so, so um, tell me, you, you came here in 1979. You've been here a long time, Las Vegas, um, when you were 11 years old. And your first triathlon was 2009, the Silverman, which is a, a very, I didn't do it, but I understand it's a very tough race. So um, for one, even before we get into that, what did you do before, uh, before you started triathlon? Well, uh, before I started tri triathlon, uh, I was a I was a cyclist. Um, I, I got into cycling um, uh, around 2005, um, and uh, I started a uh, um, I started doing uh, cycling. I used to I I um I used to take a lot of spin classes, and uh, at the at at the Gold's Gym in Henderson, and I I got to be really good friends with the spin teacher, and. Um, and she ended up letting me, um, and we talked about road biking and, and so she, uh, she let me have one of her old bikes. And, um, and so I, 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 you know, had my, you know, got my clip ons and everything and, and I started, uh, and that's, and, um, that's where I started. In fact, my, uh, my very first ever event that I did was actually toured to Summerlin. And I, I think oh, it wow. was like, it was, a. um, I think it was in 06. It was like, it, it only, it, it, in fact, it was like in it almost it's in its infancy. I think it was like four or five years old when I first did it. And, um, and, uh, that was like my first really big cycling event I ever did. And then, um, and then I, I really, you know, I really enjoyed cycling and, and then I, um, and then I started, uh, and then I graduated up to doing century rides and what, what distance was that first tour to Summerlin? Uh, I did the eight, I did the 80 mile one. Oh, wow. So, um, and, uh, and really the, and really the route hasn't changed all that much. Only, I think the only really big thing that changes that now you go up to the 215 trail, but most of it, most of it's still the same as it always was. I mean, they, oh, they, cool. they changed it a few times, but for the most part, that's kind of been the base route. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh, we, whoops. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, <laughs> so from that, then, then what, uh, how did you parlay that into a triathlon? Um, well, I, I was, uh, you know, I, I, after a while, you know, I had been doing all this stuff on cycling and then, um, I noticed that I was, uh, I was 
searching and uh, I was I was searching for something uh, and and the silver man came up and I started um, I I was like watching some info on it and um, and I thought you know I I thought well you know that would be that would be kind of a bucket list thing kind of see if I can actually do a triathlon and um, and so I ended up uh, I, I I ended up committing oh. saying, okay I'm gonna do it. Had you and had done much swimming before that? I had to I had to reteach my I hadn't I hadn't swam since I was a child. So right. I mean it it probably had been well over 30 years. The, I mean the, and for to actually swim, you know, freestyle and everything. And and so I had to I had I actually went to LVAC on the um in Sahara Maryland Parkway and I was taking some swim lessons. Um, and, and I basically had to relearn how to swim. Oh, well, that's cool. That's quite a challenge. Good grief. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, it was, um, it, 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 um, it, 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 it took a while and I, I and for a while there, I kind of got scared. I wasn't going to be able to do it, but then it finally kind of, everything kind of finally clicked and, um, and you know, everything kind of went, went good from there. And then, um, and then with the running, I, um, I had to kind of, learn a little bit on how to run correctly and everything so it's not as um, natural as most people think oh no no i i i run with all the grace of a water buffalo so i mean it <laughs> just, it, it's it's it, you know it was bad yeah. well i love it when silver man is an iconic hard race now that was the one that was the year that the swim was still at lake mead right yeah in fact uh, in fact we didn't start at boulder beach we started at hemingway that's right that's right and uh, so you, they, you, it would, but it was kind of, it was kind of fun because you, 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 you had the, you had the big tires there as, as well, like a border. Yeah. So, so it kind of, it, it kind of made it nice to, um, to, to, to kind of gauge off of that when I would swim. But one of the, one of the things that I, one of the problems that I had with it was that I would always start going off to my right. So the mm -hmm. kayaks kept having to tell, once I got past the tires, mm -hmm. everyone on the kayaks kept pushing me back over because I kept going mm. I kept going to the right and they kept saying you got to you know you're swimming off course you got to go back you know? oh. so I probably put in more than 1.2 miles on yeah, that one. yeah yeah all right I, I'm sure <laughs> oh that's great so then you, you had a big break in terms of triathlon from that race until your next one yeah, well, um, I, you know, the, um, I had, uh, I had gotten married um, about like six months ago, and I was expecting my, uh, my youngest son at the time. So, um, you know, I had him and I kind of, you know, I, I, I you know, kind of took a break from everything for a little bit. And then uh, I, I got I did get back into cycling. And because I, because I actually kind of, I actually kind of thought it was going to be like a one off. Because mm -hmm. I, because I, one of the things I remembered after I completed the Silverman, after I, you know, I did the half, I'm going, how in the world did they do the full? You know, I, I mm -hmm. thought it was just, how do you do that? You know, and and um, and so, uh, so I kind of figured I was going to be a one off, and then um, and then I um, and then I said I, I I went into cycling and I did that for years, and then um. And then uh, 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 one, a good, good friend of mine, Ryan, Ryan Taylor, yeah. um, you know, we were we were at dinner one night and uh, and uh, Ryan and, 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 and Crystal and and myself, we we all kind of looked at each other. and We figured, well, you know what, let's let's do a full Ironman. So we we decided we were going to we were going to do uh, Ironman Arizona. Uh -huh. um, and this was like this was like in 2017. Okay. And, um, and so and, we and just, just, as, just to jump in here, you're, you're jump, you, you've done one triathlon and now you're saying, Oh, let's do a full Ironman. That, yeah. Pretty that's much. Not normal. Yeah. I know. I'd, it, <laughs> I kind of, yeah, I kind of tend to just, okay, I'm going to do this one and uh, kind of don't realize you know, the real prep time involved in it. Oh, oh. Um, and uh, so um so I ended, you know, I, I was, uh, you know, uh, training and, um, and I was, I was using, um, I was using this train. I actually was using triathlon geek. It's a, it's a self, it's like a self coaching, mm -hmm. um, 
manual. I, I did it for Silverman. Like you, you, you go, they, they have like a, a complete plan, like nutrition exercises and they do like, and they have like a whole, they, they plan out, they have a plan for every, every week you, you know, you do it. And so, um, I decided to try that one again. Um, and what was that called again, please? It was off a of triathlon geek. Triathlon geek. Okay. Yeah. It's like, it's like, if you, you know, you can't really do a coach or you just, you don't have time for a coach. Like you just, it's like a, a whole self-contained plan. And, um, so, uh, and, 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 uh, things were going pretty good. Um, and, um, uh, and I ended up, um, I ended up getting, I ended up getting a, a pinched nerve. Uh, uh, it was like around August, uh, mm -hmm. about, th about three months before oh, I got geez. a pinched nerve and it, and I, and my neck stiffened up for almost six weeks. I, 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 I um, I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't you do any, huh? You couldn't Actually, swim. Actually, that was one of the few things I could do somewhat was swim. So I kind of tried to keep the swimming going. Um, the cycling, just, I couldn't do that at all. Cause I couldn't lift my head up mm. and even same with, and same with the run. Cause my, my head would go down like this and I could like maybe lift it up just a little bit, but I just, it, it was just, it was just, just, you know, um, it just was spasmed, just spasmed so stiff, and it just. How took did you so get that worked out? I had to go to a, I had to go to a chiropractor and get treatments, and um, and just it just took a lot of time for it to loosen back up, and then um, I then I finally I finally got back to it. Um, I got on the bike, um, and so I, I probably maybe with about six weeks left. So I, going into it, I wasn't one hundred percent confident you know, about what I, you know, about doing it, but I figured, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm, you know, I was pretty good on the bike. So I figured, well, I'll, I, I think I can do it. And, um, and then, um, and then when I got there on the swim, um, on the swim, I, uh, on the swim start, I got in the water and I got, uh, I got bumped and someone accidentally grabbed my leg and I ended up having an anxiety attack. Hmm. and um and so i i it took me i i kind of i had to stop i had to swim over to a, a raft and it, i took me about about seven minutes to to calm down and, and get back going and then um and i wasn't a very fast swimmer to begin with and then i i started i got going and i and things started getting better but then about i'd say about 200 250 yards from the finish i got pulled because uh because I, I hit the time limit. Right. Oh, so the boat came over and pulled me out. Well, and that was a year where they were still doing the mass swim start. And you get up under that bridge, right? And everyone just goes. There's not a lot of whole whole lot of room down there. I mean it's not it's not huge. No, it wasn't. It, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't um it wasn't that big. And and so um it it, it was pretty crowded. Well, and I'll tell you, you know, I really appreciate you bringing this forward because this is a this is an issue that a lot of people deal with. So it's neat to hear someone who's, you know, I'm sorry that you you experienced it, but you've also you have battled it and and have had success since then. Uh, so so thank you for bringing it up. And we know that pro triathletes uh, even even have this. And uh, so th it's unfortunate it was an unsuc unsuccessful race. But what did you do at that point? Because clearly you kept going and you, you went on to do another 70.3, you went on to do another full. So mm -hmm. what was your approach after, after that army in Arizona? Well, um, um, after, after, after Ironman Arizona, um, I, I didn't 20, um, I, in 2019, I didn't really do much, um, in 2019. Um, and then, uh, and then, and then I finally, um, I, you know, I just, I just, I, I, 2019 was just, a, it was, just, it was just a, a, a lazy year for me. And, and, and I just, I just, I really stopped, I just like, I stopped doing everything and ended up gaining a bunch of weight. And so when 2020 rolled around, I just, I finally decided to, to kind of get off my butt and, and really get rolling again. And then, um, and then, uh, and that's when I started, uh, I started cycling again. And then I, I got a new bike and, and, and that really helped. 
And then the, that, then COVID hit, obviously, but then we started doing the virtual triathlons mm-hmm. and that kind of, that kind of got me going a little bit, um, uh, kind of training for those. And, and, um, and so, um, uh, so I got, I kind of got the bug going there and then, and then in late 2020, we all decided, uh, you know, again, you know, team bad decision. That's what I was just getting ready to ask you about. About this time is when you, you got hooked up with team bad decision and Rick Stenagem. Oh yeah, no, we, well, we had been, we, we, yeah, we, we kind of got hooked up a little bit in 2018. We, that's when we kind of met. Um, but we really didn't, we really didn't get it going until 2020. And then we decided, yeah, we're going to, you know, um, you know, we, in late 2020, we decided to do Ironman Sacramento. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what we were just getting ready to ask you about. Cause you, you had a successful, I mean, jumping right up to a full Ironman. That's really, that's, that's really something. Uh, it was, yeah, I know a little on the crazy side. Um, and so we, you know, we, we jumped in, yeah, we're going to do it. And, and then, uh, and then of course, 2021 rolled around and, uh, we had the, the, the bomb cyclone oh, that's right. and, and so that, that, um, that canceled that out, but, um, and then also in 2021, um, uh, Nancy Jones, coach Nancy really helped me with my swim. I, I took, I started, I, I took swim lessons from her. And she really, um, she helped me with my technique and, and everything. And, and even though I was, um, it it was kind of weird. It, 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 I wasn't, I still, even though I was, my technique was better. I just, my, um, my endurance in the water, I just, I couldn't maintain it. And I just, I just was having a heck of a time and, um, I was kind of getting better. And then, and again, I kind of like went into it, like, I don't know how confident I'm going to be. And then, and then of course the cyclone hit and, you know, kind of canceled that out for that year. And then, and then in 2022, um, I really was, I, and I had still like kept it with my cycling. Cause I, I ride with, um, I ride with a, a cycling group in the mornings for the most part, they're called the horsemen and they're, they're on this side of town. And, um, and so I really started riding hard and I started riding harder and I was losing weight and, I started getting a little faster and more confident and, um, and, and then I started, um, and then, and then in the early in the year, um, I was, uh, I ended up, Rick introduced me to Candace and Jamie yeah. and, um, I mean, Candace McCutcheon and, and Jamie Ray and, mm-hmm. and, I uh, and, um, and they're like, just, you know, they're, they're awesome triathletes and, and, you know, I started kind of training with them on the bike, you know, once a week when for about like for about a month. And then we kind of schedules kind of, you know, we kind of parted ways a little bit. But um, but they were like they're they're like tremendous cyclists. So it was it was, um, you know, they, it was a challenge to just just to stay with them. So it, it kind of helped me out w- with my intensity level and and what it was going to take to really to really compete in one of the, you know, in, in one, in one of these events. And, um, and then, and then I finally had the courage cause I, 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 I was really, you know, apprehensive about the swim. And so I finally got in the water and, and I guess it took me 11 months after I took my swim lessons from Nancy. And then I get in the water and I ended up, I swam like about like 1500 yards and, you know, about a thousand yards the first time I, I was like, okay, th- this is a good sign. And then the next week I, I did 1500. And then, and then when I, uh, then like a week or two after that, I did over 2000 and, and I was like, okay, I think I, I, I think I got this. Mm-hmm. At least I knew I, I was, I was um, comfortable enough to start doing the distance. And then, um, and then, and then that's when I did the, the sprint in, um, and then I had the fail. And then, um, in April, um, I tried to do the aqua bike and, and, um, and I, I thought I could do it. And then, um, and then I, I failed again on the swim. I, I, and which, I, what distance was that aqua bike? Was it that a, was, that was the sprint. It was like, a, it was like 700 yards. Right. And, but um, it's fast. Right. And, and, um, and I remember I just, I, um, um, I remember I, I, I got in there and, and, and it, and it was warm 
And I, I, I put my wetsuit on because I, I, I wasn't like really sure about swimming in the lake without a wetsuit because I had never done that. And of course, the, it got hot and then my body just and then I just shut down again. And I remember you came out to try to help me. And I just I just my body was just I just couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. And then um, so I went back to the you drawing. Know, I, I, I just put this together that that was you. That OK, was, yeah. <laughs> it's like, OK. And. And so I went back to the drawing board and, um, and then I ended up, um, I came back about a couple of weeks later and, th- and this time I found, I ended up finding a pair of like the, uh, lava shorts mm-hmm. and, um, and, and they really helped me cause I, I didn't have to wear a full suit, but it was still a neoprene and it still, you know, helped me kind of keep buoyant. So. I was able to start swimming in the lake without a wetsuit. And then I swam with, um, um, I think coach Sandy, one of her, one of her, uh, uh introduction to triathlon swims mm-hmm. Mel? and um, Mel, Mel, uh, Cronenberg. I think so. Mm-hmm. It, I forgot. I, uh, yeah, the, uh, now I, now I forget. Now I'm, now I got, now I've got a mind block on the name. Oh, don't worry about it. But yeah, you know, no. your, your persistence is, is, it's just striking me as, how you stayed with it. Yeah. And that's important that it doesn't necessarily come super easy, but you stick with it and you got comfortable with it. So those are huge kudos. Well, know. thank you. I mean, it, well, and then I, and cause then I went back, then I did the, I, I did the, the July sprint mm-hmm. and, uh, and I remember, and uh, no, no, it was the August sprint because July was the aqua bike. And then August was the, was the sprint one. And, uh, and I remember, and I remember it was kind of a rough day. It was a little, it wasn't bad. But I remember like uh, I completed the swim, but like everything went wrong. Mm-hmm. And and but it once I got out of the water, it was like, OK, you know, I, I, I walked out of the water this time. I didn't quit, you know, and, and that that really made me feel better. And then I just kept every and then every week after that, I just kept going to open water swimming and just kept just kept swimming. And then I finally got comfortable with it. Wow, that, that is great. I'm going to echo what, what Bob said. I, I'm hearing just this persistence and just getting, uh, you know, getting the exposure and doing it uh, is what got you uh, beyond uh, doing the sprint. And here you are, you know, uh, not finishing the sprint swim, but now all of a sudden you're on the start line for Ironman California. For an Ironman. But uh, yeah. uh, it sounds like you did a lot of work and Sounds like you had some good confidence at that point too. So tell us about Ironman California and standing on the start line uh, before you went. What was going through your mind? Well, actually, it was it is kind of funny that um, that and this and I was going and this is I was doing it with uh, Dave Ellsworth. You know, he was he was gonna he he, he was gonna um, you know he he came with me, and um, and so the the what happened was is that since this was the very first time they held the event. Um, they ended up the but they didn't have enough buses for all the for all the athletes to get there in a timely manner so there was a line around the stadium trying to get on the buses to get to the swim start so we ended up so we ended up being like about a half an hour late and so it it was kind of actually it was a little bit chaotic so it wasn't like we ever, you know, it's like I, I had really, really didn't have much time to think. It's like I, I got there threw the wetsuit on. We got in line and they were like they they were getting us out. Mm-hmm. And um, and uh, but I remember, you know, I, I got in the water and and, you know, and there was like I said, there was a bunch of people around me and, and the self seating didn't really work because everyone was kind of it was a mishmash because of all the everything all was the delays. Well, so there were people like swimming around me and, and, and I, and I got, and I started to feel a little bit anxious, but then I, I was able to calm it down and, and I, I, I started to get, I started to get going and, and then, you know, and then, you know, and, and I got, I got hit, I got kicked, I got swam over. Um, I even hit a tree. It was <laughs> I, I hit I hit an under uh, it was I was getting close to the first bridge in the uh, in the uh, Sacramento no in the in the American River, oh. and I and I'm got a, and I got a good I'm I'm doing good I'm 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 spotting, um, doing great, and then all of a sudden I bounced off I like I just bounce and I'm like, 
and I looked under and there was a on, there was a tree that had been toppled over and there was a and the tree trunk was still kind of sticking up. Oh. And uh, I, I, was, I was like, "Ooh, OK. And but I luckily I didn't tear my wetsuit. And, you know, nothing bad happened. I just was like, yeah, only me would run into the tree in the in this big uh, giant river. You know, I'd in, find a, in a river. Yeah. Not even on the bike or on the run. You were in a swim and you ran into a tree. That's funny. Well, Corbin, I am so impressed because running into a tree would throw anyone off their, their swim, but also all the bumping and Johnson. I understand with the different people getting there at different times, it, it must have been really chaotic in the swim. Nope. But yet you overcame all that and you did a four mile swim. That is awesome. So it is. you got out of the swim, you must have felt great and you got on oh. your wheels and you must have just said, OK, swim's behind me now. You know, I was I was so happy um, I, I, when I got out of there. I was I was just I was so happy. And then and then, you know, transition for now the, the Ironman Sacramento, the, the transition was really long. So um, so it, it was about it's a mile to get to the transition. So you have to, like, get out of the water and then you have to, like, walk or you have to go around the stadium, then go up, go in the stadium and then pick up your gear, then go down and then change in the tent and then you know, get out on the bike. Uh, and, um, wow. so the, the transition took me almost a half an hour yeah. and, uh, but, um, but you know, it, it was fine. And so, and, and Dave and I had pre drove pre, uh, we drove the course the Friday and kind of gauge how the wind was going to go. Cause we knew it was going to be windy. We knew, you know, it, we we're going to have to deal with the wind at some point. Yeah. And so I, I get out there and, and the first segment is actually, it's actually pretty good. It wasn't as windy as I thought. And it's, it, and the crosswinds were, were the usual red rock, you know, it was like going, mm -hmm. it was like riding in red rock with all the crosswinds. And so the first segment went actually went really well. And I was, um, I was hitting a great pace and I'm thinking, oh, this would be great if it stayed that way. And then the wind just, yeah. The wind just picked up and and it was like, it was a sustained 30 mile an hour wind with oh, 35 geez. to 40 mile an hour gusts. Yeah. Again, not that I haven't experienced that being out at Red Rock, yeah. you know, it just, um, it's and good to so train I, here. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. And, um, and so I, and since I, and so I, so I, I really slowed it down and I, I really biked, a, I had to bike a smart, the rest of the, the rest of the bike, I had to be, I, I just was, I slowed down and just took my time because I, there was no sense in burning myself out. Yeah. And, yeah, and smart. so, and so I just, I, I knew, I, I knew how to play the wind and um, I just, I, I, you know, I just, I, I geared it down and, and just, and just completed it. And I started, my legs felt a little tired when I came in, but not, not bad at all. Well, I love and, it. And, and that certainly speaks to your experience as a cyclist. And, you know, for those listening, uh, that was the same, that was the same weekend that we had Pumpkin Man and we all experienced the wind over here in Nevada with uh, Pumpkin Man. And you had to deal with that wind for a greater majority of the uh, Ironman yeah. 112 mile bike. So again, this, just this persistent message coming through and it's like, I'm not hearing any panic in your voice. You're just doing it. So now you, you hit the run and I'm curious, uh, ultimately you get to the finish line. Tell us about the finish line that just must've felt really fantastic. Oh, that, yeah, they're, 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 they're really, there really truly isn't a, a, a feeling like it, you know, it, when, um, because it, you, you just, it's, it's such, you know, um, it's such a feeling of accomplishment and, and joy, um, it, and um because you know you you know because i you know i started the run and i i wasn't like sure how i was going to do it and so i ended up um i i decided to speed walk it mm -hmm. and and that's where i really kind of got a lot of help um dave um um dave who was you know ellsworth he ended up he he crashed on his bike so he he, he ended up he, he he couldn't finish the bike so like about during the run he was able to come on the, he had his, he still had his bib. Yeah. So he came on the course with me a little bit. That's awesome. And he, and he, and he was going over like strategy and okay, uh -huh. you know, you need to keep this pace up. You're doing good. And, and he would, and he walked with me for a little bit and, and it was just such a huge help. Yeah. And, um, 
and you know my wife was there and, and you know she was cheering me on you know at the points that they could yeah um but but i knew about like mile 14 when they had the turnaround you know, I was like, um, I was like, I think I'm going to do this. And, <laughs> and then, um, and then of That's course, and then, and then with Matt and, Co and then Matt and Colleen also helped me out a lot, but it, like in my mind, cause they, one of the things that they, they drilled into me of, like a few weeks before they kept saying, eat, 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 you know, nutrition. So in my mind, when I passed an aid station, I could hear them tell me, go eat, go <laughs> eat, go eat. And, um, but as, as the miles started counting down, I, I was like, yep, I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to do this. And, oh. and so it just, it just, and to hear Mike Raleigh say it, and especially because when in Arizona, you know, hearing him say it and then not finishing it just, you know, mm. and not only did it felt joy, but it was like, it was like redemption, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, wow, he's actually going to call my name. Oh. You know, it, it, it was really cool. That, that's awesome. I mean, and yeah, yeah to go from, you know, your experience at Ironman Arizona to this experience and hitting the finish line. And you know, you had plenty of challenges that were that you had to be faced with uh, that day from the swim to the bike and, that, and even the run. Uh, you know, this is so great, Corbin. I'm so glad that you joined us and, and gave us this this uh, background on, on your mm -hmm. story. And I just got to say, you know, you, you know, our theme has been for the year, enjoy the journey. And you certainly, you know, do that. And you do that, you know, with your group, you know, Team Bad Decision and, and, and your other friends and other cycling group. And it's so great to see the success that you've had, uh, especially with Ironman uh, California. Yeah. One of the things that I, I just wanted to chime in here is, uh, you know, if, if it's easy and you're a good swimmer and everything, it, it's, 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 it's not as it's not the same accomplishment yeah, right. as when you have to overcome the kind of things that you overcame. Yeah. And that's, it's, it's like, if somebody is fearless, they can't have courage, yeah. you know, yeah. because you, you need to face fears. And, and it's like, you did that. That's, that's like superhuman, you know, when it, when it comes to triathlon. So yeah, I'm real proud of you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It just, I, and I, and, 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 and I'm really proud of it. I mean, that just, it was, um, you know, it, it was really, it was, it was truly, it was truly a journey. I, oh. and, um, um, and I really just, you know, and, and, and this time around, I, I really, um, I really had a great time doing it. Oh. And, and, and at the end, you know, even at the end of the race, you know, I, I, I was, I was very fortunate. I wasn't in pain, you know, or anything like that. Just, I was able to finish the race and just really, truly enjoy that. I really oh, that's did. That's awesome. That, that is fantastic. I had a feeling this was going to go long tonight. So this is <laughs> awesome. <Yeah>. But we, we <laughs> do have to add a little, I, I, would, I would just like to know, what, what do you have planned for 2023? Um, well, a kind of a mix of a, mix of a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to do all the club races this the next year. Okay. And, um, but I'm also going to do the ETAP in May, the, the Tour de France ride. And then, uh, and then I have a bucket list century ride that I want to do in November, which is Tour de Tucson, which I put off for almost four years now. And, uh, and then I might squeeze in, I, you know, it, 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 you know, maybe I'll squeeze in a half Ironman in this year. But in 2024, though, there's a, I'm, I'm, there's a couple half Ironmans that I really want to do um, cross off my bucket list, too. So. And what are those? Um, Oceanside, because I've never done, I've never done a, um, I've never done an ocean swim before, so I got to do that at least once, mm -hmm. and then, um, and then probably Ironman Oregon, because everyone just, everyone <laughs> loves it. Yeah, and I gotta, fun. I got, I got to check it out. No, oh, that's awesome. Well, this is great, Corbin, and again, I'm sure Team Bad Decision will make a bad decision somewhere along the way, but hey, somehow all, those bad decisions are actually really great decisions. Yeah, so. yeah, we we always do. I love it. That's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this has been been really great to hear your story. So thank you. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. you. All right. Thanks, everyone. Good night.